This is the Huawei MatePad Paper, an extremely unique e-note that's in a class of its own. Despite its rigorous advertising campaign, this device is a little bit more than just note-taking. It features stereo speakers, microphones, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, a glow light, and has the ability to sideload in apps on its Harmony OS operating system. The back of the unit is the single most beautiful material we've seen on any e-paper device. It's a high grip leather backing that wraps around to the front ledger. As this sits in your hand, the materials are so natural, it gives you the impression that you're not even holding electronic hardware. But it's not without its flaws. Like most things in life, there's good news and bad news. So let's start with the thing that holds this device back the most, the pen. Industry standard in the past eight years has been Wacom. Their tips are high quality and a dime a dozen, but that's not what this device uses. Unfortunately, it's using its own proprietary technology, the M Pen. The M Pen is only usable on this device and no other pen can be used. Not only that, the tips don't last forever as they give you replacements in the box and are more costly than the standard Wacom tips. There's also no flex to the M Pen's tip, so a lot of the realistic writing feel is lost. Not only that, this pen, despite its appearance, needs to be charged. Furthermore, your device requires Bluetooth to be on full time to even use it. There's also no eraser, although you can double tap the side to trigger the eraser, but you're still using the tip. However, pen aside, there is a lot more to this unit than meets the eye, starting with the UI. This operating system is kind of brand new, and it is brand new to the world of e-paper devices. No other e-paper devices use Harmony OS. It is still based off of Android to the point where you can install APKs, you can download apps, you can download APKs from the browser, sideload them in, go to the file browser, etc. As you see, we have a calculator and Kindle Lite as some test apps on this unit. If you go to the home, this is the home screen. Everything is in the middle in terms of your cards, you have notes, you have your calendar, your inbox for your email. You also have WPS Office, Huawei Books, etc. You can tap on the top right corner where the little dots are and you can edit the cards so you can move them up and down in priority or you can delete them entirely like so. If you pull the top down like so, you will have a lot of the things that you are used to. Everything's going to be in little circles. You have your airplane mode, screenshot, your Wi-Fi. You have audio on here as well via stereo speakers. You also have different refresh modes. This unit actually does have a speed mode. It's either normal, which is your full mode, or AI, which is a smart mode, and allows your device to be a little bit faster. Refresh now simply just triggers a refresh device-wide. You also have glow light which we'll show you a little bit later on this is very nice you have three different glow light modes unfortunately there is no warm light on this there's only the blue light either off or on or custom you can go on the left you have your notes bookshelf bookstore and apps bookstore defaults to the Hong Kong slash Chinese bookstore whether you're in Canada America Japan as we have tested it doesn't seem to have access to any other bookstore but this one in those three regions you can download Amazon on this device no problem whatsoever as it does have a package installer you can sideload in APKs as we've mentioned. You of course can do anything you would do on a standard reading experience that would allow you to do so and it doesn't have to be the Amazon application. You can install Moon Plus Reader, Aldeco, anything you wish. The Amazon application is also fully usable as the application itself. It's not just limited to reading books. You can go and browse all the books you wish. You can go ahead and download manga, you can download magazines, editorials. Once you click on something, it's going to ask you whether you want to purchase it, read a sample, add it to your library, put it on your bestseller list, you can read reviews. It works in its entirety as it is to be expected because this does have the ability to install the Android app fully.
10.3 inches is most definitely the golden standard for PDFs. It looks great, there's enough space, you can fit your entire hand on there, and it's A5 paper. Is it the size of an A4 piece of paper or letter size? No. Unfortunately, you can only achieve that with 13.3. However, this is a very decent screen size. This is a very refresh happy device. It is going to refresh a lot every time you move, every time it renders, what have you. And unfortunately from the default PDF application, this is one of the few devices where you actually can't take notes or scribble on it. You can still take notes and scribble on other PDF file format driven APKs. So you can download in Adobe, you can download in different scribble apps, what have you, and then open PDFs from the apps themselves. But as per going through the unit's file browser itself under files under PDFs under documents you can't actually scribble as it has no capabilities to do so this is where you're going to spend most of your time and this is the note-taking world of this unit and this is the huge draw you only have four pens fountain ball pen pencil and marker marker has that kind of translucent opacity around it and all of these are basically set at the top you can't customize your pens like an onyx or anything like that but this does have a very cool feature like we mentioned at the beginning you can double tap to switch in between the eraser and the pen itself which is really useful because as as you draw, you can double tap into the eraser and then erase what you've drawn like that, double tap back over to the pen. You only have three colors unfortunately. You only have black, gray, and white. White is the absence of color and you only have three pen sizes. You do have pressure sensitivity on some pens. The marker will not have it, however the fountain will. So if you tap over on the fountain, you will have pressure sensitivity. The harder you press, the more thicker the bleed is going to be. Now there's a little bit of a problem problem with this and that the tips don't flex as we mentioned at the beginning of the video. So when you're writing, you actually don't get a good indication on how hard you're pressing. Not only that, the grip seems to be inconsistent based on the plastic materials they're using. There are times when you get an extreme amount of grip, but the second you loosen your pressure on it, it starts to slip pretty drastically and it also depends at which angle you're holding it. Straight up and down will have a tremendous amount of grip, but at an angle it's going to slip and slide based on how worn your tip is. These tips are replaceable but they are costly and they only give you two. They're not a forever tip like a super note pen. You do have a wide array of erasers, area standard all, and a bunch of sizes as well. Your erasing can be pretty accurate on this unit. You can also add text which is very nice. You tap on the center of the screen and you can start writing right away. You click OK and it snaps to the screen after you click out like that. You can also change the font size and bold italicize or underline. You have several microphones on this device as well so you can do dictation. I'm going to record something as a test on the Huawei MatePad paper. I'm going to record something as a test on the Huawei MatePad paper. You can even convert what you've said to the device to text, but unfortunately you need to sign up and log in to only get a 30 minute trial. You can add images as well by clicking here and putting on an image from your file browser. Simply click on it. It'll stamp it to the middle. You can actually expand it if need be. Click outside to stamp it and you can continue writing with your fountain pen, your ballpoint, etc. And you can make all your edits. From there, clicking the top dots on the corner, you can actually share it via applications on your device or print it directly from your printer. Once printed, of course, everything will be in color because although this is a black and white display, the content itself on the screen is color so that will be your end result and you can do all this wirelessly as long as you're on the same network. You have a bunch of different templates as well blank lines dots etc. Simply click on something and the page updates with that graph or minutes or what have you. The pictures will overlay all of this so it takes priority over the actual background itself. The handwriting to text is very, very quick. You simply click here and click handwriting to text and probably the quickest to date, it converts it and it converts it the way you've written it with you going to the next line, indentation, etc. 
that was very fast and it's almost as if it's doing it in the background as you write. Unfortunately, because of that lack of tertiary or third speed mode, videos are unwatchable on this unit. You only have the two speed modes, so it really just does hold you back. AI Smart is about the most you can get it. However, the audio is extremely high quality. Very, very, very loud. Browsing the web is acceptable as well. It does refresh pretty hard, but the overall screen quality looks nice. You can change it into iSmart mode. You do get a little bit of a fuzzier experience, but it refreshes less frequently, thus giving you a little bit smoother experience. This is a really cool feature. You can actually write on the text box here. So you can write, I am Peter, just like that, and it's going to convert it exactly the way you've written it. However, say you wanted a space between two words like Peter and smart, you can simply swipe down like that and it'll gap a space for you, in which case you can move the cursor over and continue to write. You can also swipe over something like your name and it will highlight it. You can cut it, paste it, you can translate it, you can share it, etc. Once you're done writing what you want to write, simply click on the text box click on the little magnifying glass and it will convert exactly what you've written. From there you can actually copy all of your translations, go somewhere else like your notes that you were just on, click a note page, tap the text, add it to the center of the page, long press, and then click paste and you've moved over all of your translations from your translation application to your notebook. Unfortunately, the MatePad paper doesn't prioritize blue light cut when it comes to the glow light, which is the only time it's displaying blue light. So you have a blue experience, and there's no way to counteract that. You have day, night, and custom, and custom is just about all you can do. You can click on the little things to the left and the right all you want, and it just won't do anything. So unfortunately, you're going to be stuck with one type of color of LEDs. Something very useful this unit has is a fingerprint sensor, and it works pretty well. You can simply press and use your fingertip to unlock it. You can also set up a lock screen password or a pin. Something that will give you guys a lot of peace of mind is going down to settings, security, more settings, and you'll see right here it says install apps from external sources. What this means is you can install APK files from the sources you choose, whether it be the browser, whether it be your file explorer, or anywhere else. You can install APKs on this, and they install perfectly fine as they have a package installer on board, so that when you go to your apps, the stock apps are going to have this kind of cartoon, rounded, square outline, but the apps you install after the fact, like Kindles and calculators, will will have their own respective image and they work totally fine. The Huawei MatePad paper is trying its hardest to advertise itself as a note-taking mega giant, when in fact it's not. It has note-taking, but it's quite limiting in features and completely hindered by the pen's overall proprietary and somewhat troubling experience. It's loaded with bells and whistles, built top of its class and seems very stable but it appears to be suffering from a little bit of an identity crisis. However, overall, it's an absolutely spectacular first entry into the world of e-paper by Huawei. For GoodyReader.com, this is Peter.